Hello everyone, this is Swartz Swartz Newbie here, back with another Star Zero Republic highlight video. Today I have you guys a Star Zero Republic highlight challenge video that's going to be going over soloing trash mobs, level 50 trash mobs to be exact, and TFB slash that operation itself. I've tried other ones, but it's almost impossible. I'm just hanging out here in Scum and Villainy just to wait at the spawn point right now as I'm doing this little intro. But yeah, this is obviously quite an intense slash tough challenge. It does require a lot of just, I would say, tanking around, kiting, and just pure awesomeness. I would say it's a really fun challenge because like I, like I usually do slash you guys can probably see, I like to solo some of these, some of this older, I guess say, content. But obviously this is level 55 and I'm a level 60 so I can take a lot of damage from everything. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this episode of the Stars the Old Republic Highlight Series. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. And if you guys want some nice game glasses, then check the link in the down below. No scope game glasses. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys later. Alright guys, so we are in the ops group right now. A few things that I do think I should know is I do have the amulet. So let me actually just use this. So if you guys want to wonder what happens, then... Yeah, this happens, but no one is around me at the time, no companions or anything. But if there were, then they would all be screaming and stuff. But I just thought I would just show that real quick. But yeah, you change into a purple figure and you just do that. But obviously that's meant for the secret boss in this operation. We clearly can't do that, but I don't know. It's just something to show. But this is the first trash mob right here. Now, obviously these guys are going to do a ton of damage. They're all 55, so they can easily damage me. So, what I think is, I'm going to let that guy stand there and not do much. I'm not going to attack him. I'm going to try to kill the Haywire droids first. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to try to CC this guy. Kind of go a bit around the corner and try to kill this guy as fast as I can and then run away, I would say. So, I can just quickly kill this guy. He's almost dead. There we go. Let's run out away from here since he's dead now. So, what my tactic is, is to go over here try to run away as fast as possible then when he's away from everyone just quickly do some damage to him and then run away as you can tell he's dead now then I'm gonna run again run as fast as possible now I have the champion on me and I still have the other guy CC in it so I'm just gonna he's malfunctioning as you can probably tell so there we go he probably does more damage now but we're gonna just constantly run away do some damage I can tell these trash mobs do hurt a bit, but they are possible to solo. Alright, so uh, obviously the next droid's about to come in soon. And this guy does self-destruct and can almost kill you instantly, so I gotta be a heads up, because I'm not gonna be able to kill him when he does his self What, self I don't even know. But he, you really can't kill him if he uses his self-destruct ability. So, that's just a heads up for you guys if you're wondering. Well, considering I'm soloing this, obviously, if you have multiple people, you can do that. But I'm soloing these trash mobs, so that's not going to be so easy. But I guess you can say this is an interesting challenge. It's obviously really tough, you guys. But I feel like it is definitely doable, as you can probably see. Alright, so he's going to self-destruct, so I need to heal myself up as much as I can, because I'm about to take a lot of damage. Alright, he self-destruct. He blew up. He's dead instantly. So that's good. Now, since the other guy is CC'd, I'm just going to heal myself back up and then kill him. But yeah, guys, this is just the first trash mob. Trust me, they're a lot. the other ones are a lot worse, which are the larva. But, you know, I can easily do this. So let me try to... Well, not easily do this. Obviously, this challenge, but I can easily kill this mob right here. So let's just try to kill him. All right. I'm not going to even try to stun him or anything because he's just one elite. One easy elite to kill. And yeah, so let's just try to finish him off right here. There we go. You are dead, my friend. And yeah, so we just killed the first trash mob. That actually was, I'd say, it, it wasn't super difficult, but it was a challenge, all right. So we killed the first trash mob right there. Now we have the second trash mob, which is, I, I don't trust the second trash mob. But yeah, now we have this guy. Now you may be wondering, what what's wrong with him? He looks like he's easy to kill. Well... He is. He does almost no damage, but when he focuses one uh, person in the raid, obviously I'm the only one here, he does a ton of damage, so you have to kill him when he does that. And since he does that devastating ability that can almost insta-kill you, I'm going to wait until everyone else is dead to try to attempt to kill him. Because if I don't, then 
I'm going to die, even though he's an elite. So I'm going to stun him, then try to kill one of the haywire droids. Then run away and let these guys chase me for a bit. Alright, so I'm going to let him rotate around back here, and then I'm going to stun him. And yeah, I'm going to just try to do this real quick. So there we go. Just get him with that charge. Alright, so here we go. I'm just going to get my shield up, because this is going to be... Hurting a lot, so obviously he's about dead, this droid. So let me run away while he dies, alright. There we go. Now we can just hold the line as quick as possible, and I'm just going to let them chase me. And the next one I'm going to kill is try to kill another droid, for the most part. But this is going to hurt, because there are two of them now, which you have to keep in mind. So let's just try to hurt one of them really bad. Alright, so he is almost dead. I'm almost dead also, so that's something. Alright, so I need to definitely run. I'm almost dead. Okay, I'm going to use Adrenaline Rush, and I'm going to run back there. Because with Adrenaline Rush, with these mobs, from what I can tell... Well, in Adrenaline Rush in general, you can survive anything for like 10 seconds. So, let me just quickly kill him right there now that I got a chance. And I'm going to run through them. Completely. Let me just heal myself also, though, while I'm at it. But yeah, as you can tell, Adrenaline Rush does a lot for you. Alright, the droid is back up, the other one, so... I'm gonna run into him, right here. Alright, I have another one right here. So let's run. We are probably gonna die right now, but that's okay. Let me CC that one. Run with all of my... We just need to run away. I do not want to deal with this right now. I do not want to die yet. Not yet. So let's continue to run right here. While we're actually away from them. Yeah, I'm going behind here. I'm going to heal up. This is my chance to heal. And get some HP back. Alright, so now that's back. I'm going to kill the... Just finish him off right here. There you go, you're dead. Let me run now because I'm dealing with this champion mob. Which, obviously, a champion mob is going to do a lot of damage. But as you can tell, it's just mainly running away and doing damage and then coming back. But it does require tactics. Now he's using this, which can hurt you a lot. And he can't interrupt this guy, which you do have to keep in mind. All right, he's behind there. So I'm going to go ahead and actually run back out of this area. I know he's still there, but I need to get rid of this guy. Because when he comes back, he's going to do a lot of damage. So... Let me just keep you down. And I'm going to actually attack the champion mob and use my shield since he does quite a bit of damage, I have to say. Let me use this so I can kill him faster. Alright, there we go. Let me try to get him to self-destruct. That's something I want to do. Alright, there we go. Alright, self-destruct now. There we go. Alright, let me just try to heal myself real quick. There we go. We won't die from this. But we'll take a lot of damage, as you can see. Alright, so now he's dead, and now we have the toughest enemy slash mob in this. So what I'm going to try to do is Kyro Grenade him right when he gets to around 50% HP, and try to burn him as fast as possible. Because if I don't, then this is going to be my death right here. So, yeah, I, you may be thinking I'm just lying, but I'm serious. This guy is just really dangerous when you try to kill him. So let's just try to do some damage right here. Oh wow, he dodged that. Alright, let's stun him. This is going to hurt a lot, but... Alright, so he's used that. That's the thing that can one-shot you. But I missed to CC break and then interrupt him before he could kill me. So that's good, but as you can tell, that is the devastating... The ability. Alright. So let's see what I can do right now. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead... Go back here once again. Let's see what we have right now. All right, we just killed those mobs. That's just fantastic. 10 out of 10 IGN right there. All right, we killed them. That was a challenge right there. But now we're, t we're up next are like the toughest, and I repeat, toughest mobs to solo. Now, we're only going to be able to solo these mobs for right now because, obviously, I can't kill the first boss, nor in Scum and Villainy, or Tear from Beyond. You now, these guys... Now, there's actually a uh, unique tactic. I tried to do this once before. So, this is a unique tactic. So, with these guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to kill him a bit. Then run back here. Then hold the line back.
But there are these mobs right here. So that may be suicide. I don't know. But the goal is to kill these guys. But like I said, this is going to be almost an insta wipe. So understand that it's going to take multiple times to kill him. Slash this whole group because they do a lot of damage. Trust me. All right, let me try to interrupt that since that hurts a lot. Yeah, as you can tell, this is almost impossible to solo right here without running away and doing something. All right, so let me just run over here. So from what I found, uh, hopefully I don't pull the other mobs, is jump down here. All right, now wait. Get a chance to heal yourself up because these guys are going to pack a punch. So you go over here, attack them, then run away again. I don't know, even knock them back if you can, just to irritate them. Then jump back down here while they're climbing up. Get a chance to heal. And as you can tell, I'm just trying to kite them around, which, like I said, with all these, even with soloing operations, all that stuff, the like main thing you should do is always kite the boss slash enemy around. Because if you don't, then it can end up in a death. As you can tell, these guys do a lot of damage if you're the only one here because they have armor reduction. So, and trust me, that eats up almost completely your whole armor. So, okay, let's kill one of them off right there. But now we have to deal with these guys. Like, the big ones, or the big larvae, are easy to kill. But when they use their spit ability, it's like almost insta-kill. Like, that ability, like, they may be weak compared to these small ones, but they can really kill you fast. So that's just a heads up. Let's try to kill this one right now. Okay, we killed one. Now there's still two left. And you may be thinking, oh man, they're easy to kill now. But no, they still can kill you fast. They really can. So I'm going to try to run back up here. Alright, I'm going to kill this one off since he slowed. Alright, there we go. Now we have the last one, which is already low. And bam, trash mob down. Alright, so let's go ahead and loot them right now. Alright, we killed them. And you may be thinking, this is tough. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Exactly, it is so tough, and I don't even, I may not be acting like it's tough because I'm trying to do it, but from what I can tell, it's like worse than soloing level 50 operations. It's like devastating because it does require tactics. I mean, it's trash mobs, and you may be like, wow, tactics for that, are you kidding me? But, yeah, it is just almost impossible to do. Same with Dread Fortress and Dread Palace. I already tried to solo those trash mobs. They are basically impossible. I don't actually managed to kill a few of them and get to the first boss in Dread Fortress, but Dread Palace, I only could kill the one guarding um, Dread Guardian guy. Alright, but now we have the next wave of them. These guys right here, so I'm going to try to attack them. I'm going to try to kill this one off right now. This is also going to start my death if some of them got it. Yes, they did. They're all huge, which is suicide, as you can tell, since these burning parts right here that they put on you are cleansable but you can't cleanse them super fast but yeah all right so i'm gonna try to kill this guy right here so there we go he's almost dead so let me run away okay so i'm getting multiple stacks so now it's time to cleanse those heal ourselves up and yeah as you can see the small or the actually humongous larva actually can kill you faster from what I can tell, but their spit is what actually hurts you, and for the most part, that is. So let's run away right here. All right, so let me heal back up while I got the chance. And I'm not gonna let this run out. I'm actually not gonna let the spit run out. All right, so I have this guy right here. Whoa, they actually despawned. Wow, that's good. Well, I mean, that's not really actually that good. They despawned, so I just got rid of all the damage on them but yeah as you can tell they are very powerful so i'm going to try to kill another one once again just single them out since they're all humongous it doesn't even matter at this point let me try to interrupt that one okay it didn't work so this is our time to run away since they are going to kill us very quickly all right so let's try to get another one to use a spit so we can just cleanse it there we go all right so now we have adrenaline rush let's just heal back up to full Alright, so here we go, run away once again, get away from him as fast as possible, and yeah, this is how it works.
Alright, we're gonna die right here. We're definitely gonna about to die. So let's try to run away again, heal up, and do some things. But yeah, that, like I said, that debuff is so devastating. It's not even funny. Alright, so let's interrupt that, actually. Can we slow him down, maybe? No, we can't. Alright, I understand game. Let me just heal myself then. Get some damage on him, at least. But he is obviously going to kill us, maybe. Come on, don't kill us. Can we kill you, man? Yes, we can. Alright, so I'm not going to cleanse that. Just let that go. But yeah, as you see, that debuff is almost insta-kill once it's up to 8 stacks. But... Yeah, there we go. So, uh, we killed that mob right there. So, that's pretty good. Okay, guys. So, that's what's going to have to do it for this episode slash highlight video challenge. As you can tell, it was quite interesting. I didn't want to continue to do it because, obviously, that can get a bit boring for you guys. But, as you can tell, it's quite a challenge. Try it out for yourself if you want. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the Star Zero Pollock highlight video. As always, if you did, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys later.